So we're getting into spring and summertime in the northern hemisphere uh, and maybe some of you, or at least I am, starting to think about taking some more Milky Way photography shots. Now you can in the winter time, but it's kind of unpleasant being cold. Uh, so usually I wait till spring and summer. So let me uh, give you some tips and tricks on how to find the Milky Way and some, wh where some good spots are to shoot. Now if you've watched my previous videos about uh, Milky Way photography, one of the things I mentioned that one of the hardest parts of photography is actually finding a, a suitable spot to take the pictures. Uh, because we're living in an industrialized nation and there's lots of lights that normally weren't around, we get a lot of light pollution. That light pollution uh, obscures the Milky Way or any uh, dim objects, stellar objects. So, you know, sometimes the hardest part is actually just finding a spot where you can actually see the Milky Way to, photograph, uh, to photograph it. So, there's a couple different things you can do. First is you can look, there's uh, maps online that shows you where light pollution is and where the dark spots are. So, a couple uh, websites you can use, uh, lightpollutionmap.info. There's also Dark Sight Finder. Uh, don't do Dark Sky Map, I think is, it's neat. If I remember correctly, it's more like a weather thing. It has some really interesting, neat apps. I, I stumbled upon it, across it looking for dark skies. So, uh, those are linked down below. Um, so, that'll tell you approximately uh, how bright certain areas are. Now, I'm not sure on the light pollution map. I think uh, where I typically take photos is it gets into the, like outside of the yellow zone. I'll have to double check. But uh, with the dark sight finder, uh, where I normally have taken all my photos, such as the ones here, is between the light green and the dark green, just right on the border of those two. And so if you can find any spot in that same range or darker, then you're going to be in a pretty good uh, area. Now the next step is where's the Milky Way? So you find a dark sight, where is it at? In the summertime, at least in the northern hemisphere, my experience is it's, it starts on kind of like towards the east, like a uh, horizon, and then starts kind of going towards the south. Now there's a couple apps and some um, programs that you can use to help you locate it. So for the computer, you can use Stellarium. Uh, it's very nice. You can also, I haven't played with it too much, but you can uh, even simulate taking photos with various uh, focal lengths of lenses, different types of sensors, and all that stuff. So that's pretty neat, and so that's a good step. You can kind of get yourself oriented. Uh, next thing is, when you're actually out in the field, you can use uh, an app. I've used SkyMap. It seems to work really well. You can basically hold your camera up and point it around, and it'll show you different objects you can search and help you identify things. So uh, it does help also to kind of know your orientation, north, south, east, west, with, with, at any site that you're at. Uh, last but not least, keep in mind that the moon is going to be out. Uh, the moon, when it's in full moon or even half moon, or out just at all, will be so bright that it will usually obscure uh, the Milky Way, at least to a large degree. Uh, so, if you uh, keep an eye on that, uh, there's w you can just look on a calendar and it will show you the phases of the moon. Another thing that, let's say you're going on a trip, you're going to be in a dark sky area, uh, it looks like it's going to be a half moon. Well, you might luck out. Maybe the moon won't be up when you're around to, to shoot. Or you can choose a time where the moon is still below the horizon to take some photographs. So sometimes just look at when the moon's uh, rise and set schedule is. It can be a little confusing looking at the times because sometimes the it'll set and then rise during one day, which we're not used to that. So if you need a refresher, please go and re-review my uh, video about taking photos of the Milky Way. Uh, if you think this video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, please subscribe. I uh, appreciate all the, uh, any feedback, positive, you know, constructive feedback. It doesn't have to all be positive, but as long as it's constructive, please leave it in the comment section below. Same with any questions. I'll try to get to them when I can. Okay, uh, that's it. Thank you very much and good luck.